Hey veterans, what's going on? Phil here on your six consulting. Hey, I uh, wanted to talk about what to expect when you go to a CNP exam for migraines. I know that's pretty specific, but I just had my uh, CNP exam yesterday and uh, wanted to kind of let you guys know how it went for me. So it was really, really quick. Um, I went to uh, CNP. It was with uh, QTC, the contractor at the VA contracts out for CMP exams um, I basically went in there the guy the guy was super nice you know um, but he literally went straight down the DBQ the disability benefit questionnaire you know asked me about my symptoms how long have I had it and and I don't know if I said before or not but this I filed for an increase for migraines so I'm already service connected but he still ran down the DBQ and asked me like you know how long have I been having this symptom when do they start what was the event that brought him on? Um, then, then he asked about the severity of the uh, migraines and the location and all that stuff. So, honestly, it was pretty pretty straightforward, and uh, I got a pretty good feeling about it. The guy was pretty nice. So, I know going to these things can kind of be uh, anxiety inducing to say the least. You know, I hate having to go to go to stuff like that, and it's like they're trying to. I feel like they're trying to discredit you or whatever you know it's like you gotta you have to prove your case basically but that's part of the game and that's the game we play so as long like i said before as long as you know your cfr 38 and uh you know you know your symptoms and you tell your story um the rest of it is in the examiner's hands you know one thing i will say is if you do get a bad cnp examiner um, maybe they're not letting you talk or you brought your own personal records in that you're trying to give them and they won't take them. Make sure you file a complaint, a, a complaint immediately leaving the CMP exam. You call up the VA hotline, leave a complaint. That way there's a documented uh, paper trail going on and they could potentially get you another CMP exam with a, with a different examiner. So, um, yeah, that's all I got for today. If you guys have any questions, just uh, let me know. Best of luck to you. Thanks, guys.